Defense Strategies The Netherlands is also contributing to these efforts and working in cooperation with allies. Finally, he said that at a meeting in Brussels last week, international coordination for Ukraine's air defense needs was coordinated, and a list of which countries would provide what assistance was drawn up. Minister Ollengren said that all the pieces of the puzzle were on the table, meaning that all the necessary elements of assistance and support were discussed in detail. These developments significantly enhance Ukraine's air defense capability, while at the same time reinforcing the international community's commitment of continued support to Ukraine. At the same time, Ukraine continues to work to improve its military capabilities. In particular, we see Ukraine breaking new ground in the field of unmanned aerial vehicles. Since the outbreak of hostilities in February 2022, Ukraine's domestic drone industry has emerged as an increasingly important element in the struggle to resist and defeat the formidable Russian war machine. Ukraine's innovative use of drones has allowed the country to counter Russia's far greater resources and engage targets everywhere from the Black Sea to oil refineries deep inside Russia. For more than two years, Ukrainian commanders have been adapting to rapidly evolving battlefield conditions shaped by the use of drones. In the early weeks of the war, Turkish-made Bayraktar TB2 drones were instrumental in enabling Ukraine to strike overstretched Russian lines as Putin's invading army tried to take Kiev. A series of countermeasures, including increasingly sophisticated electronic warfare capabilities, have created an environment in which Russian and Ukrainian forces are constantly competing to gain an innovative edge over their rivals. Many see this military technology competition as the decisive front in the war. As the front line stabilized in the first winter of the Russian invasion, trench warfare became the defining feature of the